Welcome to this Witch City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and uh, today, this one, we got a thrift store haul. We got some package stuff we're not going to look at in this video. We got some unpackaged stuff we're not going to look at. Too. We're going to take a quick look at in this video, and uh, a couple of interesting stuff we're going to look at in detail. And you know me, so the rest of the stuff's going to be seen in future videos. Starting off with a larger scale Boston police car. Limited edition, a 1999 limited edition by Road Champs. Only 10,000 in production. It's the Boston Police. This is a fairly accurate representation of what the actual Boston Police cars look like. We'll take a look at that later in another video. Then we've got something that uh, you may find interesting. I remember finding these, getting these kind of things as prizes at the Salem Willows Arcade. No, not the arcade. Salem Willows Casino. You play skee ball, a die cast, an antique finished die cast miniature, Volkswagen Bug pencil sharpener. Number nine, number nine, 1908. I paid the low, low price of three dollars for that. Paid five for this one. Then we've got another one for the nostalgic guy cast collection on a cut down card. An old majorette, Ames Department Store, 40th anniversary tractor trailer. I uh, probably should have looked up beforehand to know the age. I can figure out the ages because I can figure out how old Ames is. But uh, you can do the math. You can. Uh, got the packaging. I don't know. It's apparently very popular to have cut the packaging down on these majorette tractor trailers because the Caldor one I have that I've done a video of, which I can link at the end, had a, sim had a similar cut down card. So there's that one. We'll take a look at in a future video. We got something we're going to look at in detail in another video. A larger scale Corgi Jr.'s Greyhound MC8 Americruiser, made in Great Britain. Nice bus. Paid 10 bucks for. Don't know if that was a good price. Don't know if it's a bad price. It's stick stickers are all in good condition. The paint's really nice. I figured out how to get this sticker off because I tried peeling it off and uh, it doesn't want to come off that easily. Rounding out, what we're going to take a close look at is a couple more red lines that uh, the same thrift store had. First is the. Plymouth Barracuda, I believe it's the Plymouth Cuda Funny Car, the Snake 2, Don Prudhomme Snake 2, decent red line wheels, all, everything's all there, the stickers, Coca-Cola sticker, the Plymouth Flames, Hot Wheels stickers on both sides, Flames on the roof, it still has its connecting little, it has the roll cage in there, and the prop, so it can be displayed thusly, metal body, metal base, Original red line tires from 1971, I believe. If I, rem if I can remember, remember correctly. This came out of the Snake and Mongoose set. It is the, 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 the Ameri US base. So I don't know if that makes it any more valuable. But uh, I don't necessarily know that's going to stay around in my collection because it doesn't really fit. And if I'm going to keep red lines, I like to keep the Spectre Flame red lines, which we have another one up here. I paid quite... A princely sum for these. This was uh, not my normal thrift store mega haul. You know, the good hauls where you get really good values. But uh, I don't think it was that bad. This is a Hong Kong base Sugar Caddy. 1969 Mattel Inc. Patent pending in Hong Kong. It's got the opening hood. Show that off that big engine. A couple of cracks in the window which aren't that good. But... Uh, well, it is what it is. It's a survivor from the seventy, from the uh, early set, late late eight sixties, early seventies. Some pitting on the back. Spe nice, beautiful Spectre Flame blue. Detailed all around. Grill piece. Nice suspension. Rolls really straight. Rolls great. Another nice red line for the collection. Uh, that one might hang around. I don't know. You might want to check me out on. In, on uh, eBay, which I might drop my link in the description if I decide to put them up there. So uh, this is my thrift store haul from my uh, favorite thrift store in town. Again, as always, I do not divulge the names of the places because, well, you know where I live, so you know, so you know what stores I go to, and uh, you might steal, you might get the stuff before I do. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I thank again. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.